Robots are everywhere. You go under the sea, there are robots. On the surface of the earth, there are robots. In your house, there are robots. In space, there are robots. <laughs> My name is Dr. Ashley Trebi Olenu, and I work at the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory. These are the five robotics technologies that are going to change the world. The first robot is Robosimian, which is a robot with multiple limbs. You can think of it as hands or legs. It's designed for rescue missions. So where there's fire or there's an, an accident, a chemical spill or a nuclear accident, Robosimian will go in there and it can basically clean up you can reconfigure Robosimian for any job, and it's a very exciting robotics technology. The next robot is Ada, which is a 3D printed robotic hand. 3D printing is going to transform the way we think about manufacturing. You can go in into your computer, you can design anything, and you can push a button and make it. We have the Ada robotic arm. It's one of the most dexterous arm around. It's all 3D printed. So in a few years, you can build your own and print your own robots in your bedroom. <laughs> Phoenix is a powered exoskeleton. It comes in and assists you to be able to do things that you cannot do on your own. If they can wear an exoskeleton that is powered, you'll be able to lift a huge object. Also, it could be very useful for people that are disabled in terms of mobility. So I think that is going to get humans to evolve into a, a hybrid of robots and humans. The next robot is Pepper, which is a humanoid with emotional intelligence. A robot should be able to sense its environment. Once it senses the environment, it should be able to think about its environment, basically computation. Then, thirdly, it has to take action. For service robots, there's a fourth dimension that is missing, and that is empathy. And this is where Pepe comes in. It's got emotional intelligence, and that is going to change the way we interact with robots and how robots can be used in the household. The last robot is the Curiosity Mars rover, and I've been very fortunate to work on a lot of Mars rovers. The challenge there is to take the science instrument that basically fills a room on Earth, and then we shrink them into shoeboxes to be able to launch to different planets. One of the robotic systems on the rover is what we call the robotic arm. And I've worked on all the robotic arms that have been to Mars. Basically, a human arm, right? So it's got upper arm, it's got a shoulder, it's got an elbow, it's got a wrist. And you wouldn't believe it, but Curiosity only uses 120 watts of power. So if we bring that technology to Earth, you can see that in remote areas around this world, we'll be able to have really complicated medical instruments that will very use very small, a lot of power and be able to accomplish a lot. Take five. <laughs>